John Gill, Revelations chapter 7, verse 3. Scripture quote, saying, Heard not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, unquote. John Gill quote, That is, as yet, for their commission was not contra contradicted, nor taken away by Christ, and at the time appointed, at the blowing of the several trumpets, they let loose the winds, and let in the Goths, Hans, and Vandals, and the Turks, into the empire, and after that poured out the vials of God's wrath upon the Romish Antichrist. This retarding of them was but in appearance that there might be an opportunity to show to John what care would be taken all along of the Church of Christ and the true servants of the living God, unquote. Scripture, quote, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads, unquote. The servants of sin, Satan, and the beast of Rome were took no notice nor care of. They were the persons to be hurt by the winds, signified by the earth, sea, and trees, even idolaters, small and great. But the servants of our Lord, of our God, who served him with grace in their hearts, from a principle of love in the exercise of faith, without servile fear, and with reverency and godly fear, in righteousness and true holiness, and with a view to his glory, and are worshippers of him in spirit and in truth, being followers of the Lamb, whithersoever he goes, and so are the servants of his God and their God. The sealing of them does not design the sealing of them with the seal of election. This was done in eternity, nor with the seal of the Spirit, which is common to all the saints in all ages, but it denotes the hiding and concealing, and so securing the saints amidst all the calamities of the empire and throughout the whole time of the Romish apostasy, from first to last, and respects the time when the church fled into the wilderness and was hid and nourished with the hidden manna. For a time in times and half a times, see Revelations chapter 12, verse 14, reading from the King James Bible, quote, And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time, from the face of the serpent. Unquote. Christ set a mark upon them, as was upon the houses of the Israelites, when the destroying angel passed through Egypt and destroyed the firstborn in it, and as was upon the foreheads of those that sighed and cried in Jerusalem when orders were given to slay the young and old. See Z Exodus chapter 12, verse 23. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, For the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, and when he seeth the blood upon the lintel, and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite them. Unquote. Christ will have a people in the worst of times. He knows who are his and he will take care of them. He has his chambers of protection to hide them in till the indignation is overpassed. The sealers, we, are either Father, Son, and Spirit who are all jointly concerned for the welfare of the elect of Christ and his ministering angels that attend him, whom he employs for the good and safety of the heirs of the salvation, the seal with which these are sealed in the seal of the living God, the foreknowledge, love, care, and power of God, in the name of God, even Christ's Father's name and their Father's name, in their foreheads, the new name of children of God, by and under which they are known and preserved by Him. And these are said to be in their foreheads, in allusions to servants who used to be marked in their forehead. Hence they are called by Apollos, that's A-P-U-L-E-I-U-S, um, frontos laterae. And by Martella's servant is called Fronto noti, notatus, N-O-T-A-T-U-S. But then these are such who had committed faults, and this was done by way of punishment. Wherefore it can hardly be thought that the servants of God should be sealed in allusion to them,
but rather with reference to the mite on the high priest's forehead, as some think. Or it may be to Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4, reading from the King James Bible, quote, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Unquote. And shows that though these persons were hidden, concealed from men, they were well known to God and Christ, nor were they ashamed to make a public and open confession of Christ before men, as did the true and faithful witnesses of Christ. In the midst of the greatest darkest of the popery, as the Waldenists and the A-L-B-I-G-E-N-S-E-S, -E and of danger from men, and who seem to be chiefly intended. And of Revelations chapter 7, verse 3 of John Gill's.